Tell me, what are you getting an award for tonight? Sex in the City 2. And tell me, what was the challenge of doing that film? Well, the challenge was, uh, which is a great question, because I really love this, do, writing this score. It was the second half. It's the, the front part of the movie is based in New York. But then we go to Abu Dhabi. And so he really wanted a David Lean kind of approach. So, you know, and Marie Jarre-esque, you know, big, expansive, huge score. But he didn't just want it to be traditional orc. He wanted something, what he called, it was his term. He wanted something called, he said, I want like Skistern, not Eastern, you know, or Middle Eastern, like whatever that was. So the first piece I wrote actually is the, is the clip that I gave to Doreen which was a um, piece that I wrote, which was the expansive theme, this huge kind of, you know, big hundred and a lot of brass. And, and so I kind of listened to the Jar score a, a bit. And so I would say the music was inspired a little bit by that period very much. Cause so, so I got to write some good harmonies and things. So that whole side of the fence was kind of Jar-esque, a little Prokofiev, you know, very magic in the... In the, in the marketplaces, there was like 25, 30 minutes of stuff, and that was my favorite part of writing that score. And the challenge of putting like loops and beats underneath some of these things to give them the groove. But, I, but it, it was, it, it kind of, it flowed really nicely, they, they, the, the uh, kind of marriage. Very hybrid. I think the basis of writing a good tune, everything else, because if you can write a good tune, there's plenty of loop guys and beatsters and electronics, you know, it's about the chords, the harmony and the melody. And if you can, and, and understanding what that is, if it's a, either a full blown or song form, an orchestral song form, which I think our hero and the best living composer today does so well, is the best, John Williams. And then there's the light motif, which, you know, the greatest guy for that, you know, is like Tommy Newman. So, you know, and yet, those two things combined still, you know, are, are so important. But those skills, and I think, you know, just the two composers I previously mentioned who are so great, they have that original, excuse me, original training, that, that classical training that comes out through their music and their harmonies. I mean, if you think about Road to Perdition, Tommy Newman, I mean, just how, you know, so for me, I think that's so important to have that skill to be able to write a tune and a melody and of course, not every movie you can write a complete song for.